Now, friends, we come today to the fifth chapter, 1 Kings. If you have your Bible, you'll want to turn there. And you'll note now we're coming to the construction of the temple by Solomon. Now, I want us to note here in chapter 5, and I'll read along, beginning with verse 1. And Hiram, king of Tyre, sent his servants unto Solomon, for he had heard that they had anointed him king in the room of his father. For Hiram was ever a lover of David. Now, this is something to note. Whatever Hiram, king of Tyre, is going to do, it will not be because of Solomon, but because of his love and his esteem and respect for King David. Now, he sends to Solomon, and Solomon sends to him. And Solomon sent to Hiram, saying, Thou knowest how that David my father could not build an house under the name of the Lord his God for the wars which were about him on every side until the Lord put him under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God hath given me rest on every side, so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. Now, only God, friends, can give peace, whether it be world peace or whether it be peace in the human heart. And only God can give this rest today that the human heart needs. That is why our Lord, when they rejected him as king, he could send out this personal, private, individual invitation. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. That is, burdened with sin, laden with iniquity, as Isaiah said. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I'll rest you. Only Christ can give rest today. Now, God has given Solomon rest, given him rest on every side. That is, peace. 